This morning, a scripture reading would be from the book of Psalms. And as we approach the end of the year, I think that is proper. I think that is apropos for us to, to take stock of the blessings of the Lord. You know, in the, uh, in the Bible, we are constantly reminded that it is a good thing for the people of God to take stock of the blessings of the Lord, of the bounty of God, to look back to, to see the mighty deeds of the Lord. This is a constant theme in the Old Testament where the people of God are, are, are urged, are exhorted, are commanded to remember, to remember what God has done for them and to pass this, this knowledge, to pass this, this remembrance that is not only a tradition, but it is the faithfulness of God, the, the faith of the fathers to the sons and so on and so on. So as we come to the end of the year, I think that is very proper and essential uh, for us to, to look back in the chambers of our hearts, to, to, to look back and see what the Lord has done for us, to see the mighty deeds of God. You know, as, I, as, I was, uh, as we were singing that wonderful hymn, it is well with my soul. I was reminded of a scene I, I witnessed this year where uh, Brother George was laying in a hospital bed after having uh, been part of a, a horrendous uh, wreck after the accident that he suffered. The, the, <clears throat> the, his truck was destroyed and he was taken to the ICU in San Antonio and I remember walking into his hospital bed into his room and he was all, all kinds of tubes coming in and out of him he was coming in and out of conscience and I remember him seeing uh, seeing him uh, coming in and out of conscience and him asking me to sing for him it is well with my soul and at that moment, I, 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 as a human, as, as, as a man, I, I couldn't see beyond, beyond that point. I couldn't see him. I thought, I thought this man, if he survives, he, he's crippled for life. I couldn't picture him as he was before. I couldn't imagine that only six months after the fact, I was going to see him walking again. You know, it, it is amazing. It is amazing how the Lord uh, makes us walk through the fire only to show us how faithful He is. So as the people of God, we, we, we must never forget the, the mighty deeds of the Lord. The reason why I believe is the main reason why the people of God in the, in the Bible are, ex, are exhorted to remember is because our part of our nature, our proclivity, our tendency, the inclination of our nature and our hearts is always to doubt God and to forget what God has done. So we constantly need reminding of the Lord's mighty deeds and this is only this is not only given to us as a way to remind us but also as a way to bolster our faith it is uh, it is god telling us remember what i done and i can do it again if i need to it's to it's to tell us look back I have not changed. I, I am the same God. But we, we um, need this because you see, unlike us, God is fixed. He is immutable. He remains the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. But the problem is that we 
tend to try to see God through a human filter. So we pin to God or our human limitations. But I want us to read from Psalm 77, beginning in verse 11 through verse 15. And what we see here is the psalmist uh, reminding us to, to remember the deeds of the Lord and to, to compare uh, any other so-called God, small g, to the greatness, to, to the vastness, to the faithfulness, to the splendor of the true and living God. The psalm is saying, look through the earth, all people look to the earth, compare you, you, you so-called gods to the mighty God and see if any of them has done the wonders that God has done among us. I did, I did, that is uh, in essence what the psalmist is saying. Let us read to, uh, from verse 11. It says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is great like our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have made known your mighty, your might among the peoples. You with your arm have redeemed your people, the children of Jacob and Joseph. And then the psalmist puts that little comment, that little note that says Selah, which means think about this. You know, the, in essence, what the psalmist is saying and is alluding to is saying, remember, just remember Egypt and all the array of gods they have. They have a God for the river, they had a God of life and death, they had a God for this, a God for that, a God for the frogs, a God for the for the cattle and this and God's might, each and single one of them gods. Each and one of those idols that they worship, that they thought that they were secure uh, on, was shattered by the Lord. Because He is the true and the living God. And He's, and he's faithful to His people. You know, that serves us by way of application to us. Because we also, we may see and say, oh, we are not like Egypt. We don't have those idols. We don't worship. Uh, we don't have those images. We don't have those statues. And therefore, we don't worship uh, those gods. But we worship other gods. We, we build in our hearts other idols, the idols of prosperity, the idols of the, the good job, the good paying job, the idol of the house, the idol of the... Uh, toys, the summer vacations, and so on and so forth. We tend to, to look to our resources, to our bank account, to our investments, to our 401k, to anything that will bring comfort to us while we uh, drift away from the true and living God. And this is, and this is normal. And I'm not saying it is good. I'm saying that this is what we do. We drift away from God. And somebody will say, well, what are we, what are we supposed to do? What, what, is, what we must do to drift away from God? Well, the, the, uh, the answer to this question is simple. Nothing. Do nothing and you will drift away from God. But the psalmist is calling us to remember. So as we end this year, as God's people, we will remember. As God's people, we shall remember. I will remember when I was told you have cancer, sir. 
And I will remember how all my idols, all those things that gave me security, all of a sudden crumbled before me. But only one thing stood firm and unshakable. That is the word of God. So we will remember. We must remember as God's people. So I strongly exhort you to take stock of all the things that God has done for you this year. And if you have problems saying, well, uh, only bad things has God brought to me. You have a problem. Because see the, the, see, the issue is not that God has brought bad things to us. How many? Maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, perhaps. But that is not the issue. That is not what is strange. The strange thing is that we're still standing the strange thing is that we not only 10 bad things that happened to us this year, the strange thing is the year has 365 days. And the strange thing is that all these days, not all of them have been bad. So let us remember. You see, the problem is our sense of our sense of appreciation. The miracle is not that ba the bad things happen. What is the wonder is it not that bad things don't happen all the time. According to what we deserve. So let us praise God and let us remember. Let's pray. Heavenly Father. We thank you as we stay as we take stock of your mercies and grace. We thank you for our blessed Savior, the Lord Jesus. Help us to to nourish a, a thankful heart, Father. In Jesus Christ we pray. Amen.